Hi, I'm Chris Mazur with Leica Geosystems. Today I have with me our brand new Icon Tilt Rover, and I want to show you some of the features of our new Tilt Rover. So what I have with me is our ICG70T, my Tilt Smart Antenna. I've got my CC80 tablet running my Icon Site software. So I'm going to come on over here, and I'm going to go ahead and measure, measure a couple points on here. I'm going to go into my measure app, and you see I have an image of this area loaded into my Icon Site software. So here it shows our rover pole being on the edge of the sidewalk. And if I come over to the other side, it shows the rover pole being on this edge of the sidewalk. So you can see the image on here is correct and it's to scale. So before I measure this point over here, I'm gonna go ahead and just for the time being, I'm gonna turn my tilt compensation off. So no longer using tilt compensation. So when I come over here to measure this point, now I'm gonna use the bubble that's on the pole. So what I have to do is come on over here, set the tip of the pole down on the point that I want to measure. And I need to get the bubble inside the circle. And when I got it, maybe hold my breath for a second. Hopefully take a nice accurate measurement of that point. So if you see on here, on my screen, um, the gray circle, that represents the point that I just shot with my rover. And you see my rover pole over to the side of it. And at the bottom of the pole, you see an orange circle. So the orange circle represents the tip of my rover pole. So when I'm over my point and I have uh, my pole plumb, you see I've got the orange circle which represents the tip of my pole right over the top of my point. That's what I would expect. If I have a little bit of lean in my pole, what I'm actually seeing on screen is it looks as if my entire rover has shifted to the side any way that I want to lean it. And that's not exactly, that's actually not true. The, uh, the tip of my pole pole is still right on the top of my point that I measured. It's just that my pole is leaned. And without tilt compensation, this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn my tilt compensation back on. And I want to wait here. I'm going to let it sit here for a second. There it goes. Until it says tilt not initialized. And it says tilt not initialized. That's the way we do our tilt compensation. So inside the ICG-70T, we have IMU sensors or inertial measurement units that help us do our tilt compensation. So the thing about IMUs is when they are in motion, they are extremely accurate. And when they are stationary for a period of time, they can tend to drift and lose some of their accuracy. So when I see this come up on screen saying tilt not initialized, I know that my IMUs have been stationary for too long. I need to get them moving. I need to get some motion going with, with the IMUs to get them initialized. So usually just circling the rover around like this for a couple of seconds will do it. You can also just start walking around the job site with it. Um, it's not a message that you see pop up very often when you're working because as you're out working, if you're doing a topo, if you're staking out a job, you're probably moving all the time. And the more you move, the more these things stay initialized. So not something that pops up very often, but I wanted you to see that. So I'm going to come back over here to my point now and set the tip of the pole down on that point. And as before, um, see, there's my, I still have, there's my, the gray circle is the point that I collected. And the orange circle represents the tip of my pole. So now you see the orange circles is right over the top of the point that I shot. But now you notice when I tilt the pole, the orange circle stays right over the point that I collected before. So it does not matter which direction I go ahead and tilt my rover, it's always showing me correctly that the tip of my pole is right over the top of the point that I collected. And with the IMUs, the way we do our tilt compensation, there is no limit to the amount of tilt that we can have in our rover. So we can have you know, 45 degrees tilt, no problem on here. We can even get all the way down to the ground. Like I said, there is no limitation to the amount of tilt that we can have. Um, the, the IMUs have no limitation. The limitation usually comes from the GPS. In order for this to work properly, we still have to have um, good quality GPS and we need to have a fixed position. So when I lay this down to the ground, you can see I actually still do stay fixed. And that is a testament to the GPS we have here at Leica that we use inside our sensors. Uh, fantastic GPS. Like I say, I put this thing down at some incredible tilted angles and I am not losing fix. Um, so no limit to the amount of tilt that you can have in the pole. You just still have to have um, a good GPS fix position. So if you want to see just how close this is, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go into my stakeout app. 
And I'm actually going to pick that point. There we go. I'm actually going to pick that point and stake it. So when I stake it, you actually see my, my deltas or my numbers up on the screen. So you see my cutter fill. It's 100th, 200th, 300th. And then I've got my um, distance that I need to move either north and south or east or west. And you see on here they're pretty much close to being all zeros, as I would expect, being right over the point that I shot. But you notice as I start to tilt this thing to the side, those numbers don't change. Um, so um, it's just as accurate when it's tilted as when I have it plumb straight up and down. So you can see with tilt compensation, um, you don't have to be plumb. You don't have to be right over the point. You don't have to be stopped or stationary. Um, I get right over my point again. Go into my measure app. I said it shows my circle. Or the, the orange circle is right over the top of the point that I collected. And, and I don't need to be stationary in order for this to be correct. So you can see as I spin this thing around, it's still showing me that my orange uh, circle, which is the tip of my pole, is still centered right over the point that I shot. So we don't have to be plumb, we don't have to be stationary. And like I said, that's because of our, our tilt compensation using our IMUs. Now, another benefit of our IMUs is they never need to be calibrated. So there are no weekly or monthly, periodic, cumbersome field calibrations that we need to do. Um, these things are always calibrated. Uh, you never need to send it into a service center to get recalibrated. It doesn't need a checkup or anything like that. Um, because we use IMUs and we don't use a compass, we don't ever have to worry about any type of metallic or magnetic um, interference with our system. So if we're out on a job site and we're up near machines, we don't have to worry about any me metallic interference. We can be up against um, metal buildings, fences. Uh, we don't get any type of me metallic interference. We can be around anything that magnetic um, you know if you take a compass near any type of magnet it throws the compass off since we don't use a compass we don't have to worry about any type of magnetic disturbance as well so mag magnetic metallic disturbances do not affect our ICG 70T rover so the tilt is always working it's always on in any of the apps that we're in in our icon site software the tilt compensation is always active if you have it turned on so there are no specific apps that use the tilt so if I'm doing my topo, I can use the tilt. If I'm staking out a, a curb or a road or checking grade on a job site, I can use the tilt. It's always on, it's always active, and, and as you can see here, it's always correct. So this is a little bit of what we can do with our ICG-70T tilt rover.